All right, good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker online class. In today's video, we'll be talking about calculations on uh, polynomial, remainder, and factors theorem, okay, and their factorization. So the first question, which is a question number 83, said, for what value? For what? For what value of x? Okay, for what value of m? For what value of m is x minus 2 a factor a factor of x to the power 3 minus 3x squared plus mx plus 2m okay for what value of this a factor of that now for a polynomial to be a factor of another polynomial so what is going to happen now for this to be a factor of this it means that when this divide this, the remainder is going to be zero. So if you if we use the remainder theorem, we can say let f of x be equal to that polynomial minus three x squared plus m x plus two m. Right? A remainder theorem said that arrow of since here is x minus two to get the x, you say that x minus two is equal to zero. Therefore, x is equal to two. So r of two is equal to what? Sorry, the remainder, not R of 2. The remainder is equal to F of 2. Okay? The remainder is equal to F of 2. So, anywhere we see X, we put what? Uh, 2. So, I'm going to have 2 cubed minus 3 into 2 squared plus M into 2. Then plus 2 M. Don't forget that this is the remainder. And the remainder is equal to 0. Why is the remainder equal to 0? Because it is a factor. If the remainder is equal to 0, then it is a factor. So, this is what? 8. Um, here is 4. 4 times 3 is what? 12. Then plus what? 2m plus another 2m is equal to 0. So I'm going to have, um, this is minus 4 plus what? 4m is equal to 0. So therefore, 4m is equal to 4. So my m is equal to what? 4 divided by 4, which is equal to 1. So you see, this is very, very simple. So the next question, question number 83. Question number 84. Question number 84 said, for what value? For what? For what value of M is X plus 1? A factor of a factor of X is power 3 minus 3X squared plus MX plus 2M. Okay, so if it's a factor again, the same process solution, we can say let f of x be equal to that polynomial x is power 3 minus 3x squared plus mx plus 2m. Okay, then now from here we can find our x. We can say that x plus 1 is equal to 0, so that x is equal to minus 1. But we know that the remainder should not be equal to f of that minus 1. Okay, anywhere you see x put minus 1, so you have what? Minus 1 raised power 3, minus 3 into minus 1 squared, then plus m into minus 1, then plus 2m. Okay? So, if you finish it up, you are going to have minus raised power odd number, the minus will remain. So, minus raised power even number, the minus will disappear. So, I have minus 3 here, then minus m plus 2m is equal to 0. So, you have to equate to 0 because it is a factor. Alright? So, what do we have now? Uh, minus this minus this will give you minus 4 minus 4 plus m is equal to 0 so my m is equal to what 4 my m is equal to 4 as simple as that so the next question question number 85 question number 85 so question number 85 said that if if 2 2 x cubed minus 3 x squared plus 4 m x plus 3 t is divisible is divisible by x minus 2 and x plus 1 then I say find m and t solution Okay. 
find m and t solution now like i told you if it is divisible then it means it is a factor the same way again so we are going to say that let f of x okay be equal to that 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4mx then plus 3t okay now the remainder of the other one the remainder is equal to f of 2 you know how i got these two this one moving to the other side f of 2 which is equal to 2 into 2 cubed minus 3 into 2 squared plus 4m into 2 then plus 3t is equal to 0 why is the remainder 0 because it is divisible divisible means that it is a factor so i have that this is um 2 raised to power 3. 2 raised to power 3 is um is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So I have 16 here. 16 minus, uh, this is 4. 4 times 3, 12. I have 12 here. This will give me 8m plus 3t is equal to 0. Okay? So this and this will give me 4. Yes, 4. Moving here, I have that 8m plus 3t is equal to 4. Equation 1. All right so please check the other calculation i thought in the other one there's i think there's a little error i think i wrote eight here instead of writing a uh, 16. so please check it out okay so for the other one i have that when it is x is now minus one so I have that the remainder for the other one is f of minus one which is what two into minus one uh cube minus three into minus one squared plus 4m into minus 1, then plus 3t is equal to 0. Why did I say is equal to 0? Because it is divisible. So what do I have here? Minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4m, then plus 3t is equal to 0. So what do I have now? Now that minus 4m plus 3t is equal to 5, equation 2. So solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. I have that 8m plus 3t is equal to 4. And I have again that minus 4m plus 3t again is equal to 5. So if you subtract, this and this will give you 12m. This and this is gone. Is equal to 9. Okay? So therefore, my m is equal to what? 9 over 12, which is 3 over 4. Okay? So if you have gotten 3 over 4, substitute in either equation 1 or equation 2. But let me use equation 1. 8m plus 3t is equal to 4. So 8 into 3 over 4 plus 3t is equal to 4. This into this is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 plus 3t is equal to 4. So therefore, 3t is equal to 4 minus 6. 3t is equal to 2. Therefore, my t is 2 over 3. So 2 over 3 and 3 over 4 is the correct option. So we move to the next question. We move to the next question. And the next question, which is question number 86. Question number 86 said, uh, given that, given that the perimeter, given that the perimeter of a rectangle, given that the perimeter of a rectangle is 24 meter and the area is 20 meter squared then i say then then the value of the length and and width the length and width are uh, dash okay solution now if i have a rectangle like this this is the length and the length the width and the width don't mind my drawing okay perimeter means to add everything so they say that the perimeter perimeter which is equal to 2l plus 2m 2w okay but they say that this perimeter is equal to 24 so the perimeter is equal to 24 is equal to 24 Therefore, L plus W, divide everybody by 2, will give you 12. Equation 1. Okay? Now, but now say that the area, for the area, area means the length times what? The width. And they say that it is equal to what? 20. So, L W is equal to 20. Now, equation what? 2. 
So solve equation one and two simultaneously. So how do you solve it simultaneously? Okay, I can say that um, from equation one, from one, from equation one, I have that L is equal to 12, 12 minus W. So let's substitute it in equation two. So to, uh, equation two say that L W is equal to 20. So instead of writing L, I can write as 12 minus W, then times W is equal to 20. So this time this is what? 12 W minus what? W squared is equal to 20. So move everybody to this side. So W squared minus 12 W plus 20 is equal to 0. So what do you do? So this is quadratic equation. I have W squared minus 2 W minus 10 W. Okay? Plus 20 is equal to 0. So I have W into W minus 2. W minus 2. Then minus 10. Okay? So I have that W minus 10 and W minus 2 is equal to 0. So what do you have now? You are going to have that uh, W minus 10 is equal to 0 or W minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore my W is equal to 10 or 2. Right? So since I've got to my W is equal to 10 or 2, how do you get your L? You get the length now. The length is equal to 12 minus W. So the length is equal to 12 minus 2, which is equal to what? 12 minus 2 is a 10. And then the or we say that L is equal to what? 12 minus 10, which is equal to what? 2. So the length can be 2. Why the width can be what? 10. So I have 10 and 2. 10 and 2 is the correct option. So when it is 10, the other one is 2. When it is 2, the other one is 10. So 10 and 2 is the correct uh, option. So option B is correct. So go to question number 87. Question number 87. Question number 87 said... 87. 87 said, given that... Uh, question number eight seven says, given that the perimeter again, the perimeter of a rectangle, given that the perimeter of a rectangle is thirty six meters, okay, and and its area and its area fifty six meters squared, then I said, then find the length and the width okay so solution the same thing is applicable for the perimeter 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 the perimeter simply means 2l plus 2w and they say that the perimeter is equal to 36 if i divide everybody by 2 i have that l plus w is equal to 18 equation one then for the area for the area is L times W. That is L W. L W is equal to uh, 56. Right? Equation 2. Now, from equation 1, from equation 1, I can say that L is equal to 18 minus W. So, let me substitute in equation 2. I have that L W is equal to 56. So, if I put it here, instead of putting L, I can put 18 minus W. Alright? Then, another W is equal to what? 56. If I clear bracket, if I clear the bracket, I'm going to be having, I'm going to be having that 18w minus w squared is equal to 56. So I have that w squared minus 18w plus 56 is equal to 0. So um, how do I get the two things for 56? 56. To divide 56, um, 56 divided by 2. I have 28. 28. Okay. 2 divide 14. Okay. 14 and 4. Okay. So I have W squared minus 14W minus 4W plus 56 is equal to 0. Okay. So what do we have? W into W minus 14. W minus 14. All right. 56 divided by 14. I have minus 4 is equal to 0. So what do I have now? W minus 4 and W minus 14 is equal to 0. So what do I have? W minus 4 is equal to 0 or W minus 14 is equal to 0. So I have that my W is equal to 4 or my W is equal to what? 14. So that is that. 
So the same thing is applicable. If you put, if you now put it in this equation, if you put it this place, we know that my L is equal to 18 minus W. So my L is equal to 18 minus 4, which is 14. Or we can say that L is equal to what? 18 minus 14, which is what? 4. So 4 and 18 is very, very correct. So the last question I'm going to solve for this, that is question number 88. The last question I'm going to solve for this, which is question number four, uh, 88. Question number 88 said that if, if x minus 1 is a factor, is a factor of p of x, which is equal to 2x cubed plus bx squared plus 3x plus 4. Okay? Then the answer we should find b. Now, I told you that if something is a factor of another one, then the remainder will be equal to 0. I told you that. So, solution. So, to get the remainder, we now say p of. They gave me s minus 1. So, I can say that s minus 1 is equal to 0. So, s is equal to 1. So, p of 1 will now be 2 into 1 cubed plus b into 1 squared plus 3 into 1 plus 4 must be equal to 0. Why did we say is equal to 0? Because it is a factor. Must be equal to 0. So, what do we have now? 2 here plus b plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 0. So what do you have? Uh, 9. So b is equal to minus 9. Because everything is 9. Okay? So that is that. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.